Now, 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 Leo, you got, you got, you got uh, my main man Tom Too Cool in the background right there. He's actually he's yes, in sir. Tampa now, but uh, you know, the, the Patriots the may have found a replacement for him in the form of former MVP uh, Cam Newton. Uh, you know, and I was actually looking forward this season to kind of to that's the storyline of Belichick's system versus Tom Brady's talent to kind of to, to see who would do better this season. Um, so I was like, dang, when they brought in Cam Newton, I was like, well, now we're not going to get to see that because if, if Cam is healthy, he's an MVP player. You know what I'm saying? He's that level of eliteness, so we won't really – get to know if it was, you know what I'm saying, who should be getting more credit, if it was Belichick or, 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 or Brady. But I am very happy for Ken that he has a job. Of course, I would like to see him get a, a little bit of a bigger check than what he got, yeah. but he's in a position where he'll, he'll have a, a legitimate shot at winning. So, you know, from that standpoint, I'm happy. But what do you guys think about the signing? I think the signing makes sense. Um, Obviously, there's some questions. There's always going to be asterisks with um, a signing like Cam Newton. Obviously, you know, the shoulder, can he throw the football again? On the Patriots, weapons on on the wide receiver position to me is not luxury. It's not that flashy Lamborghini that we want. Um, it's Muhammad Sanu who didn't who looked to shell himself last year, didn't fit in the offense. Um, Edelman who was banged up, who's getting older. Nakir Harry who was a rookie who missed half the season last year. So weapons wise, we have to see how that um plays out. But Cam Newton, if healthy, is your weapon. He is your offense. You can run through. You can run your offense through Cam Newton. You get him off the clearance rack for nothing, and you, yeah, it's a, it's a gamble. But at the same time, you got him for nothing, so it's not like you're gonna lose a lot of money. The Patriots know how to um, use their assets; they know how what to give and what not to give. You saw what they did with Antonio Brown; gave him a little money. He started acting up. They lose that much for him, so I think it makes sense. Cam Newton, you go to the Patriots, a team that has won Super Bowls, the team that has the best coach in NFL history. And you telling me you want to revive your career, you can do that on the ring. Yeah, I love the move. I said back in March when the when the news broke that the Panthers were looking to cut ties with them, that the Patriots should have traded one of their third round picks for him. Obviously, they came out even better because they didn't have to trade anything for him and they got him on the cheap. But in regards to the weapons, it's still a, it's still a solid move because Cam went to a Super Bowl with far less. You know what I'm saying? The best players that Cam ever played with were an old Steve Smith. And he got Christian McCaffrey as he was on his way out of Carolina. You know, so when, when Christian McCaffrey got there, Cam was already on the outs kind of leaving Carolina anyway. Um, I think the team is going to be great. And I think Josh McDaniels is going to implement an offensive game plan that's just going to feature everything that we know Cam can do. The mobility, getting out the pocket, extending plays, all those things that Cam is really good at. He doesn't have to be Tom Brady. He doesn't have to stand in the pocket and pick you apart. He can use his mobility and his strength to wear you down over the course of a game. And let's not forget, Josh McDaniels was the head coach in Denver with Tebow. And he found a way to make it work with Tebow. So if you could get to the playoffs and win with Tebow, I don't even want to know what you could do with Cam Newton, especially if he's healthy. I like the weapons. I'm a big fan of Nikhil Harry. Yes, Muhammad Sanu has to play better. Yes, they got to get more out of the tight end position. Sony Michelle's got to show them more because he really struggled last year, too. They got to get him going. But that was a top five. That was a top five defense. And now you add an ex-MVP who has mobility and adds a different dimension that no one's ever seen out of a Patriots offense. Do they become, again, <laughs> the favorites now to, to, to win their division? Or, you know, or, or is it Buffalo? I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it all depends on Cam Newton's health. I like Buffalo. I think Buffalo took strides last year. I might say what you want about Josh Allen. I know he has accuracy issues throwing the ball down the field, but he definitely made strides. And I think you bring in Stephon Diggs, I want to see how they look. But they, if Stephon Diggs fit in that system, they have a legitimate wide receiving core. That's probably top 10 in the league when you think about um, Brown and um, this guy that won in the slot. His name is um, Cole Beasley. Yeah, Cole and Beasley. you have him and, and Stephon Diggs that can lit, you know, blow the lid off the top. I think that um, they were close last year. It was, it was that game in week 15 or week 16. That was a playing game. Basically, if you won and you won the next week, you would have won the division. So um, I think Buffalo could win, but I'm 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 banking on a he healthy Cam Newton to um, keep the Patriots reign over the AFC East. Yeah, if, if Cam is healthy, it's their division because I I just if he's healthy, nobody's gonna out coach Bill, and Bill is gonna implement the system that's gonna fit. And like I said, I think people are gonna be surprised. 
because we're so used to seeing the Patriots offense do everything through Tom Brady in the pocket, the quick passing game, the screen game. But with Cam now, watch for a lot of bootlegs. Watch for a lot of movement in the pocket and trickery where teams aren't going to know what's happening. Um, they're the favorites to me. If Cam isn't healthy, yes, I, I think head and shoulders Buffalo is better. But if Cam is healthy, Cam alone with those weapons is good enough to win the division. Oh, and they, uh, you know, just for anybody that didn't know, they still do have the top uh, defense led by the yep. defensive player of the year, uh, Stephon Gilmore. Stephon you know, just Gilmore. to throw that out there, too, you know, <laughs> the defense that was scoring more points than the offense at one point yep. last season. Yeah. So Listen, if you can get a healthy cam in there. Right. They, they lost their playoff game to the Titans last year because of the lack of offense. You know, they didn't lose because of their defense. Their defense held the Titans to 14 points. Their yep. defense was legit. It was their offense. They struggled. As you mentioned, Edelman had a big third down drop in that playoff game that kind of stalled the drive out for them. Nikhil Harry never really developed. Sony Michelle was terrible last year. If they I get think a lot of that had to do with the offensive line, though. I, I don't really think be. Sony Michelle just forgot how to play football because he had a good rookie right. season. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with the offensive line. But um, one thing, one difference that I feel where the Patriots may be better off um, without Tom Brady, and you know I love Tom Brady, is the fact that Tom Brady's not mobile. So if you looked at pro football focus, the Patriots ranked dead last in wide receiver separation. So when Cam Newton, that's mobile, will give these wide receivers a little bit of time to, um, you know, rerun routes and get open. Yep. Yeah, well, they bet they, they, I think they should try to get another weapon in there to help to help with, with Cam. Even though Joku asked for a trade, they need a tight end. Why not make and that move? You know, you know, the Patriots do love their tight end, so you yep. know what? We might see that uh that move uh you know very very soon. Uh shout out to, to the Patriots, man. They they managed to get the swindle some way, shape, or form. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned into Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought. Real 